Remember that you're dealing with electricity, so it's important to use caution when using a multimeter. In this video, we will talk about five common mistakes to avoid when using a digital multimeter. Number one, use the wrong test tool for the job. It's important to match your digital multimeter to the work ahead. Make sure your test tool holds the correct CAR rating for each job you do, even if it means switching multimeters throughout the day. Number two, a thorough visual inspection is one of the most important steps you can take to ensure your equipment is in good working condition. Before every use, you should do the following visual inspections. Check for any signs of cracking. Check that the display is not faded. Unplug the test probes and look for any signs of cracking or frayed wires. Check for gaps or cracks at the junction between the insulated wire and the plugs or probes at each end. And when the probe ends are plugged in, they should feel secure and strong. Number three, check the battery level. To avoid false readings, which could lead to possible electric shock or personal injury, replace the battery as soon as the battery indicator appears. Number four, forgetting to switch functions or jacks. Not remembering to switch the test leads or jacks when switching between current sensing and voltage or resistance testing this can lead to the meter sparking or worst case blowing up. And the number five, holding the multimeter with both hands when testing the live circuit. Don't do it! When working with live circuits, remember the old electrician's trick. Keep one hand in your pocket that lessens the chance of a closed circuit across your chest and through your heart. Hang or rest the meter if possible. Try to avoid holding it with your hands to minimize personal exposure to the effects of transients.